I'd like to know if any of the Democrats on this committee are employing uh, Judge Mershon's daughter. Please tell me what that has to do with Mayor Garland. Is she a porn star? Oh, Goldman. That's right. He's advising. Okay. He's advising who? What? Do you do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about. Uh, just a, uh, I don't think you know what you're here for. Well, you the one talking about. I guess I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, what you're ain't reading. nothing. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath would even you order, 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 order of your committee. Order. I do have a point of order, and I would like uh, to move to to take down Ms. Green's words. That is absolutely okay. unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack the physical band. appearance Meeting of Wilson's another band. person? Are your move feelings hurt? Her words down. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby, girl. Oh, really? Don't even play, baby, me. girl. Gonna, I don't. Think we are going to move, and we're going to take your words down. Thank I you second that motion. So, so who will have? That was a snippet from a House Oversight Committee hearing on whether or not to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress. Yeah, they're very clearly doing some really important stuff in Congress. So good job, guys. Now, as you saw, Marjorie Green attacked Jasmine Crockett's physical appearance after Crockett questioned why she was bringing up something that Crockett didn't think was germane to the proceeding. Now, when AOC intervened to defend Crockett, that's when all hell broke loose. And what we're about to see spawned an entire news cycle about this exchange because it got really heated and somehow John Fetterman got involved as well. And when I say he got involved, let me be clear. He inserted himself into the conversation and he invoked Israel randomly because, I mean, that's what John Fetterman does these days. So uh, before we get to all of that, though, in the aftermath, let's look at what happened in case you missed it. Okay. Miss Green agrees to strike her words. I believe she Perry needs to apologize. Perry. No, no, no. She Perry. Needs to okay, hold on. Then after Mr. Perry's going to be recognized, then Ms. Green. I'm not has apologizing. Four minutes and well, seconds. then okay, you're reserve not the right to object. Perry. I am Mr. not Perry. apologizing. Now let's go. Come on, guys. Why don't you debate me, uh, Mr. Chairman? Um, the the, the I minority. I think it's pretty no, self-evident. Chair recognizes you're not. Yeah, you're, you're not. Out of order. You don't have enough you're intelligence. Out of order. Chair recognizes Mr. Perry. Okay, move to strike I'd the. Like to strike I move to strike the ladies' words. I move to strike the ladies' words again. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. Oh, they cannot take the There's words. There's another motion to strike her words again. Please. All right, okay, get your here's, under here's the correct the correct apology. Miss Green, do you ask unanimous cons do you agree to unanimous consent to strike your words? I repeat again for the second time. Yes, I'll strike right. my words, that, but I'm not right. apologizing. Without objection. Without not objection. Mr. Mr. Chair, point of order. Who's, who's? It's me. Ms. Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleached blonde, bad built butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A, a what now? Chairman. I'm I, make a, I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of trying it. to find clarification on what quality. Chairman, I, I motion to I strike no those words. I have no idea what you just said. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do this. Look, you guys. Earlier, literally just. Oh, you just, you just, just voted to do it. it first, so you just voted to do it. Order, order. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at. Calm down. Calm no, down. no, 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 because this I is what y'all right. do. So I'm trying hey, to get Ms. clarification. Hey, Crockett, you're not recognized. Miss Crockett. I can't hear you with your and yelling. You don't want calm me to down. Be, no. Can you please calm don't down? Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk calm noise, down. and then you you're can't take it. You're out of control. Because if I, Look, come, Chairman, if I come, come and talk shit about her, y'all gonna have a problem. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. All right, Chair, Chair, okay. Order. Goddamn. Listen, good for Jasmine Crockett for standing up for herself. I think that if Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to comment on other people's physical appearance and call them unintelligent, then she deserves a taste of her own medicine. That's how you handle bullies. So I unequivocally support Jasmine Crockett's comments here. And my one criticism is that she didn't take it further because there is basically endless insults that you could hurl at Marjorie Taylor Greene nonetheless. She did a pretty good job at dragging Marjorie Taylor Greene, and it clearly struck a nerve because Marjorie Greene actually responded by defending her bleach blonde, bad built butch body, saying, yes, my body is built and strong, not with nips, tucks, 
plastic or silicone, but through a healthy lifestyle, soon turning 50 years old. God willing, I will continue to lift, run, swim, play sports, surf, ski, club, and live this life to the fullest and enjoy every single moment. Now, I'm assuming her plastic comment was another jab at Jasmine Crockett, but her feelings were clearly hurt. But I mean, if you don't want others to criticize your physical appearance, maybe you shouldn't criticize theirs. Like, don't be mean to others if you don't want them to be mean to you. I think that we've all learned this lesson, like kindergarten, first grade, maybe. But I mean, she can't help herself because she's a condescending fascist who's living validation of the Dunning-Kruger effect. But her excuse is that she actually didn't start this. Democrats did because Jamie Raskin attacked Trump in his opening statement, which supposedly violates decorum and I guess gives her a blank check to insult Democrats. And she says, AOC isn't intelligent. Jasmine Crockett has fake eyelashes. These aren't attacks on personalities. These are just facts. I just want to remind everyone that this is a 50-year-old woman with the maturity of a toddler. But in an interview with CNN, Jasmine Crockett spoke more about this exchange. And here's what she said. So I want to clarify that I actually did not react instantaneously. Um, I actually was trying to allow the process to work. So you heard from AOC, who is our vice ranking member, and you heard from Jamie Raskin, who's our ranker, as we attempted to go through the process. And there was an agreement. And of course, Marjorie had to be Marjorie. And she refused to actually apologize. Therefore, I needed clarification as to why the chairman refused to actually take her words down, which meant that she would be kicked out of the committee room for the rest of the hearing, which would have been appropriate. Now, the part that I think really kind of, frankly, caught the Internet afire is when you described Green in this request for clarification as a bleached, blonde, bad-built, butch body, which I had to look at my notes to read, um, any regrets about that kind of language, especially given that you were trying to make a point, uh, frankly, about decorum in the hearing room? I have no regrets. And I'll tell you why. Because Marjorie Taylor Greene is the type of person that if you give her an inch, she'll take a mile. And the fact that they continue to allow her to break the rules of decorum over and over and over, whether it's the State of the Union that the president is delivering and she's wearing a MAGA hat or otherwise. The reason that she didn't have committee assignments before was because she did not know how to conduct herself as a member of Congress. And so if I just sit there and say, oh, well, Marjorie said it about me, what's to stop her to continue to do it again and again? And at the end of the day, I was elected as a representative of Congress, but that doesn't mean that I'm supposed to be somebody's doormat. Good for her. And I will never blame someone for defending themselves. When it comes to decorum, however, I couldn't care less about that. Marjorie Green isn't wrong because she broke decorum. She's in the wrong because she was being an asshole. And not just any kind of an asshole. She was being a racist asshole, as explained by Jasmine Crockett. So you also uh, called Green racist for what she said about you. Why is that? Yeah. Because... As I've received so many amazing compliments from MAGA America um, throughout my time in Congress, a lot of times when I would go viral, instead of them trying to address the things that I laid out in a very factual way, what they would try to do is say, oh, look at her hair or look at her nails or look at her lashes. And they would all then associate anything that I do as a form of beautification with being quote unquote ghetto. And so to me, she was just basically repeating the nonsense that MAGA world is constantly putting out there because I am not the only woman in Congress that wears lashes. Um, and there are women on her side of the aisle that wear lashes as well, as well as hair extensions. But she's never felt like that was a dig that she needed to take at anyone, except for me, a black woman who sits on the committee. And then, of course, she went after AOC and called her unintelligent, a brown woman that sits on the committee. Listen, she is absolutely right. And before any of you comment and try to deny the role that race played in this exchange, let me remind you, we are talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene here. She literally spoke at the convention of Nick Fuentes, who is a self-proclaimed white nationalist who openly advocates for a white ethno state. So I think that it's perfectly reasonable for a black woman to stand up to a racist like Marjorie Taylor Greene and call out the role that race plays in Greene's behavior here, because it does play a role. That's 
pretty obvious and we don't have to pretend as if that's not the case because we're not just talking about anyone again we are talking about marjorie taylor green of all people here but some people saw the entire exchange that we all just saw in a very different way for example john fetterman decided to chime in and reacted by tweeting the following quote in the past i've described the u.s house as the jerry springer show today i'm apologizing to the jerry springer show my brother in christ you are literally a united states senator and and you're supporting a foreign country's genocide. Don't pretend like you're above this in any way, shape, or form because you are the circus that you're denouncing. But AOC responded to him saying, I understand you likely would not have stood up for your colleague and seem to be confused about racism and misogyny being a both sides issue, but I stand up to bullies instead of becoming one. And to the women of Pennsylvania, I'd stand up for you too. Now, she also retweeted Veronica Escobar, who said, women of color in Congress are frequently targeted by misogynistic xenophobic ignorant people i've lived it one of the shameless extremists we work with insulted jasmine crockett and aoc used parliamentary procedure to demand a standard of decorum there is no both sides and they're both right but fetterman was apparently butthurt by the mild criticism that he received because when he was asked about this on cnn state of the union during an interview with jake tapper he pretended as if he was better than all of them, and then he doubled down on the both sidesism, making it seem like AOC and Crockett are the same as Marjorie Taylor Greene, and he invoked Israel because it's John Fetterman, but let's listen. Uh, Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez seems to be suggesting that you're a bully. Oh, well, of course, uh, that's, that's absurd. Um, I was just simply responding to the kind of chaos and everything that uh, Representative Green started as well. And if everyone on the committee was proud of what they've produced, they're entitled to their opinion. Or if they feel that this is the kind of a video that you want to send to a, a, a classroom of eighth grade civics kind of students across America, again, that's their choice. Now, to me, you know, you know, what I would, that's their choice. But if I'm going to push back against anything, it's going to be pushing back against Hamas and, and not vote against Israel. And I'm going to push back against Putin. I'm not going to vote against the, the aid for Ukraine the way Representative Green has done. And then I'm also going to push back against the TikTok vote as well. And now the TikTok is essentially a Chinese communist government asset. And you're basically a fascist genocide supporting Israeli asset. But I don't think he was smart enough to comprehend AOC's point because he, again, both sides the situation and made it seem like AOC and Crockett are on the same level as Green. They're equal opposites on the same spectrum. When, even though he's both sizing it, you're kind of doing apologia for white supremacy because there's no equivalence between the far left and the far right. And to even say far left is a bit of a misnomer here because AOC and Crockett, they're just social Democrats. There's nothing far left about them, whereas somebody like AOC describes herself as Christian nationalist, which is explicitly authoritarian. And he's saying, no, they're the same. They both have their flaws. Uh, one of them doesn't support Israel, AOC. It's just so ridiculous. And he's also stripping away the context just to make a broader point about how, I guess, unserious the House is. And we all agree that they're unserious but Green was the one lobbing the insults at Democrats. Democrats like AOC and Crockett were literally just defending themselves. And by John Fetterman's own standards, anything goes when it comes to self-defense. Because, you know, if you can defend yourself by doing a genocide and say that that's self-defense, then they should be able to defend themselves by spitting insults back at somebody who insulted them. See, I can invoke Israel needlessly, too. But, you know, the entire ordeal, I think it's really insightful, not because we learned anything new about Green or Crockett or AOC, but because a U.S. senator has chosen to publicly weigh in on a matter and both sides it for no reason in order to make his own Democratic Party colleagues seem as unhinged as far-right fascists like Green, which is so stupid. But, I mean, I'll conclude by saying that shutting the fuck up is free. And that goes for both John Fetterman and Marjorie Taylor Greene, because if there's any equivalence to be drawn here, it's between him and Marjorie Taylor Greene and not AOC and Crockett and Marjorie Taylor Greene because he's the one who's aligned with far-right fascists to support a genocide of a foreign country. So shut the fuck up, John Fetterman. Jesus Christ. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
vagina. <laughs> <laughs>